again, uh, on Thorzane's vision, we do see one of those first peasants chopping wood, which means we are going to see some paladin rifles. So yeah, it means it's the bill that one. people won't shut up about it in the Twitch chat. <laughs> so step step one of my dream is coming true. So now we just have to see like an expand, uh, some blood mage, some MK, and then and then we're we're on our way to seeing a death knight get evaporated. My dream is for this build to get obliterated so people can stop talking about it like it's some sort of sick build that gives you a sure I... win against Sunday, because it, it really is not. No, it's it's not a sure win at all. So, one of the major downsides... In fact, it's not a win at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of touched on this during the 2v2, but one of the major downsides of this build is not having access to a storm bolt, a storm bolt or like Sorceress Slows. So... The undead can kind of abuse their mobility to, to to do hit and runs, picking off units, doing economic damage, taking creep camps that they want. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see if Side will abuse, quote unquote, um, his his you know superior movement to gain an advantage against this build. Because usually what ends up happening is this paladin will get level three very very quickly, and once that paladin hits level three, it's so hard to take a fight against rifles until you have superior heroes so i'm kind of interested to see one one of the things to watch out for in this game is one if and when thorzane decides to expo and number two the fights that side decides to pick because in this matchup when they do paladin rifle rifles it's usually the undead player that decides when and where they end up fighting because the undead player can always just run away I thought you played Night Elf. How do you know all of this? Like, you're not supposed to know a damn thing about human against undead. Because uh, I play against Paladin Rifles as Night Elf, too. And that's what I do to beat it. I just, I never fight them. <laughs> it's, it's the only way I know how to win. I, I literally just don't fight them. <laughs> I actually... It's I not supposed to be very good against Night Elf, is it? It's, it's not good, but it's also not bad. Rifles are so strong against Elf. Like, in just in general. It, bro. The, the, the bro. The counter... Bro, <laughs> there's no, there's no counter to rifles. The counter to rifles is like oh bears or mountain god. giants. Oh my god, bears or mountain giants. But yeah, I don't, I, I don't even want to get started. I don't want to get started on it. But yeah, well, too late. What the hell? <laughs> it, it, it feels like when you're playing. You literally rifles, just said there's no stronger unit of night elf against rifles. That the. the even if you get bears, if the human player does his timings right and whatnot, they'll usually end up having 50 food when you're at like 44 food. And that fight, it just, it doesn't feel good. And even if you do have bears, the bears end up um, being so, oh, Thorzane just accidentally called militia, by the way. Um, the bears usually end up just being overpowered by the number of rifles. And the fact that a tier one ranged unit can overpower a tier three meleeed unit is just like, I don't know, it just feels bad, man. So what I do is, uh, again, when I do play against people that are doing rifles, I just do hit and runs the whole time and I just never fight them. And pe some people may call that laming, but that's the only way I know how to win against rifles nowadays. Yeah, sure, you lamer. Yeah, year of the rat, huh? Is yeah. That, is that your year? Yeah, I actually am a rat. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, just don't tell corrupt. Corrupt already knows. Corrupt has called me a rat many times. I consider it an, an honor and a privilege. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Yeah. Uh, all right. Interesting base from Thorzane, by the way, too. It kind of creates this like weird choke at the front. Not, it's like not... a come on in, right? Entrance. Yeah. yeah, he's but it's not your standard human base at all. It's uh it's kind of just interesting to look at. But Thorzane is one of, if not the best European human. Um, so to, to see him do this kind of what? non non meta stuff, you don't think so? How are you gonna say that when I'm here with you? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're on that list too, but Feels bad. I think Hawk is the best personally in Europe. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think Hawk is the best. I think if Thorzane played more, um, I think the I think top three is like Hawk, Blade and Thorzane pretty much. Yeah. Oh, and, and, and me if I competed, I of course. Blade. But I, I beat Blade last America's. Okay, Cup, Blade's not even top three. <laughs> He's not even top ten, in fact. After losing to you. Oh, this is so. Good. This is actually really cute. Oh, oh, that was so nice. So uh, he he left that Murloc above a hundred hit points, 
and you're kind of just dancing around it. And then he decided to, it takes two rounds of attacks to do 100 damage. Um, and it wasn't enough for Side to be able to react. Yeah. And when you see stuff like that, I kind of wonder what ping they have. I mean, both these guys, they kind of live close to each other. So Side is in France and uh, Thorzane is in Sweden. Yeah, that, this is like very so, low ping, I think, for, for, for them. Yeah, so both of them should have like 50, 60 ping is my guess. But um, yeah, you always wonder because, I don't I think Side could have taken that Murloc. It's not easy. There's like probably less than a half a second window for him to be able to get that coil off um how did you yeah, beat blade i told you the last time we were casting i was joking when i said but i know uh he went mk and he tried to play aggressively against uh my keeper and basically he had level three mk he pushed my base i got him down really low he tp'd out and then he went to go militia creep and I caught him militia creeping with my keeper Please, i killed his level three attack. mk and he just so you were just messing tier one no, no, I did uh, keeper archers. So I was actually on my way to tier three. I've been going, I've been going mountain giants against human. So I was actually, yeah, I was on my way to tier three, keeper and four archers or something. Yeah. But I killed his, I killed his level three MK and he GG'd it. Oh. Wow. What time was it in Moldova? Because usually he drinks pretty heavily after eight p.m. <laughs> uh, it was actually, what was it? It was the America's Cup, which I th think is like either Friday or Saturday night. Oh yeah, it was late then. It was okay, late okay, he had a couple grams in his blood already. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, either way, I'm gonna take that win to the bank. Yeah. I mean, you, you've already bragged about it quite a few times. Yeah, that's yeah. I'm, I just and saw I will Blades watching and he's, and he's listening. About <laughs> oh, don't worry, I, I remind him, and I told him any any time, any time he wants a rematch, I'm open to. It. I, will, I just enjoy I like I enjoy playing high level players even yeah. if I lose. Who cares? It's just a game, Todd. Right? It's just a game. To you, this is a game. To me, this is my life. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, nice Nova ensuring that kill in the middle and the item he gets. Oh, that's probably the best item he can hope for. Getting that mana stone on the Death Knight. Um, that's pretty good. The other, yeah, the other items that can drop there is like the healing wards, the hellstone. Um, hellstone would have been good here too, but I think mana mana stone is, is the best pick up there. How did Tolzin see this? Sai was gonna go around. He's actually scouting for it. Damn, you can't trick this guy. He's ready for wow. it. That's not only being level two here. It really hurts. Like, ideally you want to get that to level three very quickly in a game like this, but. Yeah, because I'm of all the actions. I'm kind of amazed that his paladin isn't level three already. Thorzing is kind of known for abusing militia, not abusing, but using militia creeping to ensure that he does get uh, the level three paladin. So the fact that it's you know eight minutes into the game already and we don't see level three paladin, that's very uncharacteristic of Thorzing. Lado bit blade, easy yes in sub. We all know uh, NA is better than Europe, right? I mean, that's why the only NA team in this tournament lost 0-3 in round one, isn't it? <laughs> so in chat, Blade comes and said, do you know how he beat Blade? He talked, talked him out and his brain got rebooted. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think he's saying I'm talking too much. I've heard that criticism a few times. Yeah. Maybe I should, maybe I should cut right back now. on my... Uh... Oh, you do talk quite a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fun. Yeah, because you knew Hitman would win, so you kicked him out. Yeah, sure. The caster <laughs> of this tournament beat Hitman 3-0 last night, so I don't know about that. I should just... I want to shut up OC and... Insuperable once and for all. I should just organize Europe versus NA. <laughs> where, where a rule is that every game is played on NA, and then Europe will still wipe them out. <laughs> I would love that. That'd be so much fun. I love drama. drama we just do so like all kill fun. format and we send out Happy first. And I put like $500 price pool. Happy's gonna lose zero unit and all kill NA and then like they're gonna shut the everybody forever. There's a massive fight going on in the middle right? Uh It looks like Thorzane is taking the fight. Uh, some really nice, well, there was a really nice vanish save on that rifle. Uh, side aggressively nuked that rifle, but didn't quite kill it. And uh, Thorzane was very quick to use Banish to save it. It was a very nice save. And all the while, this uh, Thorzane does have his expansion up and running. So Thorzane is looking in a pretty dominant position right now. Side is going to push this. He's not out of the game by any means, but I would say uh, Thorzane is slightly ahead right now. Meanwhile, uh, some nice focus on this. <laughs> that was a cute lightning shield. Nice focus on the Arcane Tower, draining some mana out of the slits. And we see Rifle Focus coming out. 
on the Death Knight, but that is the illusion. I'm sure Thorzane knows it, but he focuses it anyway. <laughs> yeah, Dark Ranger here is really good when there is no priests, because you can't actually remove the silence. Uses another yeah, lightning true. shield. Another cute lightning shield. I don't know if I like that use of the lightning shield. It feels a little underwhelming. Yeah, maybe on the on the Death like Knight would have been better, but I guess he doesn't want to quite send it in there. And behind this, oh, okay, that's gonna get targeted. There's an invuln anyway. He's looking to siphon some more mana in a sec. He can obviously heal the Blood Mage too. So in a second, there is gonna be uh, a bombs with Disease Cloud joining the fight, which is gonna be huge here for side. And also. Hey, I was Tolzain always counters this with uh, Griffins down the line. Yeah, I was gonna say I, if I were in side shoes, no, I'm not claiming to be better. Side is way better than me. We actually we we just played in the last uh, tournament in the Rising Star Cup. Um, I had to play against Side in round two, which was not fun. But uh, yeah, he kind of smashed me. It was it actually wasn't a smashing, but um, he it was like a 20 minute game. But yeah. I, I felt like I was down the entire game. But anyway... Sad, are you uh, there, by the way, in the chest? Because Ladu, Ladu just said that it, you didn't smash him, so I would, I would like a confirmation. <laughs> if I were in side shoes, and this is such a minor thing, but I would have saved that lightning shield until I had an A-bomb out to use on that A-bomb, because lightning shield is, is really good um, against this team composition. This AoE damage is hard. Oh, AoE damage in general is hard for the Paladin to heal. Paladin is really good at healing that single nuke damage, but... The AoE, AoE damage provided by Lightning Shield it can be very, very strong. The Knight is spotting where the Undead Army is coming in. And he actually went for the camp. I think it'd be worth it to get that camp and maybe TP out. But actually, he might be able to finish that and then just fight. Uh, actually, wait, his side's I, not coming in. What the hell? By the way, I think my dream is coming true. Uh, we see MK, Pally, and Bloodmate. Oh my so god, he found Brilliance. All of the components in there, holy hell, that is so strong. Uh, by far the best item that he could have been hoping for. I expect to see bolts and holy lights coming out left and right and center and backwards and diagonally. And uh, yeah, it's going to be hard for side to keep those heroes alive as these human heroes start to level. Interesting. He's getting plus two armor here before the plus two attack for rifles. I guess because he's going to benefit griffins as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised by that too. That's interesting. Temple of the Damned on the way here for side, probably already thinking about adding Banshees. He saw a single knight. Obviously, anti magic shield is very nice to have, but also possession down the line. And Tolzin wants to fight. He wants blood here. Banshees are kind of a relatively new thing in this meta and i love seeing banshee play it's really fun to watch and when i say new i mean like within the last two years like yeah. if you if you rewind this game like warcraft 3 back to like you know the late 2000s like 2000 you know seven eight nine you almost never saw banshees against human um but in the last two years you see banshees in almost every single game and it's it's kind of fun to see that banshee play oh, that, that was so bad for side yeah, he had terrible. to Dark Ritual the Abom, he missed the coil on the death, on the Knight that was actually staffed out. And this is going really bad. He's trying to expand on the bottom right. This almost feels like a ninja expand at this point. That he's hoping to the, kind of get away with. This is totally a ninja expand. Yeah, because obviously the natural expand is the top left. And then the secondary natural expand is the... the or sorry, the top center. And then the secondary is the top left. So going into this bottom right is... is kind of a Hail Mary play. I mean, side feels like he's behind. Um, he's trying to take a sneaky expo in hopes that Thorzane won't scout it out and he's able to catch up with his uh, his economic deficit that he has right now. Oh, he just scanned it. <laughs> oh, Pretty bad news. Ripperoni. So I think we know what Thorzane's next play is going to be. Actually, he could go up to the top left here too. Please, yeah, he's, he's going to prioritize getting this the other red camp. That red camp not only do you want it for yourself, but you want it more than wanting it for yourself, you're taking it away from the, the undead player. Uh, the way undead wins this at this point is high level heroes. And by taking this red camp off the map, you're ensuring that undead isn't gonna get it. So he's gonna be limited with the experience that he has on his heroes. And it feels like Tholzain is winning this game like by a landslide right now, but- Oh, and he gets, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, yeah, and all your- uh... <laughs> By the oh, way, did, I don't know if you saw that, but 
played Three Oats Terror. And I was like, all right, what happened in those games? And then I got sent the replays. And I started watching them. No joke, three games in a row he found an Oliora. Three games oh. in a row. I so, think one, one. Sorry, go ahead. This is like sicker than when Night End found Pipe, like so many games in a row against me, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so, one of the things I mentioned is the main downside of this army composition is you kind of have nothing forcing them to stay in the fight. Well, he has, he has an MK Bolt, but that was it's only level one and it isn't unlocked until tier three. But with that unholy aura, he's upping his movement speed, and he's up. So, with that increased movement speed, not only does it increase his micro just in the fights, but it increases his ability to just move across the map, which is the main. As I said a few times now, is the main downside of this build. Right? You can't really go from point A to point B very quickly. Jago is better, Chuddy says. Uh, Jago is also very good, but I, I would say Jago is better. But uh, the unholy aura is a very, very if you're Thorzane and you get Unholy Aura, you're very, very happy. I promise. Are under <coughs> Matt Noob, tu vas me demander un unbad bientôt ou qu'est-ce qui se passe? So he's got Master Benchy here. But he actually. Wait, did he kill the only knight that was there? So he actually can't possess it now. That's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah. So he's forced to nice TP bandages. now. Thorzane plays this build so much that his his micro is just so spot yeah, yeah, on yeah. when he plays this. The, the the things to watch when he's microing this is when he decides to heal versus when he decides to banish versus when he decides to staff. And his timings on all three of those things are almost perfect every single time. And when you're playing against this, it just feels so hard to kill a unit. It's like it feels like when when in order to kill a unit, you basically have to nuke the units, which is actually how we see side open up this fight with a big nova um, focusing down this. But he's in a massive food deficit right now, 63 to 80. Uh, and not only that, he's at a hero level deficit and item deficit. So side is fighting an uphill battle. And he sees that and GG's out. And Thorzane takes game one.